The Philippines is mad hot. Tom, I got a question. Yes. Um, how does it feel to not wear a champion hoodie every day? Man's not hot. Welcome back to a brand new vlog here in the Philippines. Today we're gonna to be going to the BGC, AKA Bonificio High Street, and we're doing a sneaker battle with one of my friends who's also here in the Philippines. You might know him, you can probably guess what shoes he's wearing. We got Tom. So I win, because those are better than off-whites. We'll see about that. The only thing better than off-whites is off-white Jordan 1s. Okay. I mean, Jordan mm. 1, the only thing better than Jordan 1s is Jordan 1 off-white. <laughs> Today we're doing a sneaker battle. You guys have seen this kind of video in the past. I've done them with Carlo, I've done them with Tom in a few places as well. And Tom doesn't know really the sneaker store is here. I don't at all. So I'm giving him like a little tour, but at the same time we're having some fun. Let's start off with right now. Who do you guys would think would win this first round? I'm wearing... Just, just so we're completely clear, the answer is me. It's Storm Blue Jordan 1's. Christian's a hype beast. He probably got... Did he get those sent to you by Nike? No, I... That's I, the only I reason he these. likes them. He probably got them for free or something. <laughs> Tom has these Storm Blue Jordan 1's. So, really nice. I like these. And uh, I got the off-white blazers on my feet. So vote right now, and that'll be a little practice round before we get to the mall or the shopping center. There's also a mall outside of it. There's gonna be like six or seven sneaker stores all within walking distance. So we're here at the BGC, Bonificial, Bonificial High Street. I always struggle to pronounce it every single time. Bonificial. Bon it's like it's almost, that, right? It's French all of a sudden. We have Tom here as my opponent. I think I've beat him before. It doesn't matter, you're cheating. <laughs> we'll you see. fake accounts We'll vote. see, we'll see, we'll see. How this is gonna go down is we're gonna go to five different stores. And then we're gonna pick out the shoe, post it on Instagram story where we're gonna have people vote live. And then you guys can also vote in the comments or on the poll during this video. The winner's gonna be getting a prize, which Tom just brought me as I a gift. I bought you this and now you're giving it away. I think it can be a prize. You know, it's a, it looks pretty cool. So this is this is it right here. I it's put a lot of thought and effort into buying you this. Now you're giving it away. It's a cactus. It's a, it's a cactus. My mom would love this. My mom would absolutely love this. She has like a succulents collection and I, I really don't know if I can bring this across the country or across the world, you know, to Canada. We have a lot of stores here in Manila to get to. So the very first one we're going to go to is Adidas. I'm just going to leave this here while we, uh, while we go shopping inside of the Adidas store. One last thing to raise the stakes. We're gonna have the winner step on the loser's sneakers. Christian, and today- are you, are you sure what? you want me to step on your expensive shoes? Dude, I'm not gonna lose. You have, you have bad taste in shoes. What can I say? You love pink Adidas tubular dooms. Hey, oh, we got a- can't even film a video without me being recognized. <laughs> it's such a big deal. Before we start this first round, I want to show you guys a bunch of the sneakers they have here. Their Ultra Boost selection is insane, so they have a lot of stuff to go through. I'll show you guys my favorite picks, and then we're going to get to round one. So let's take a look at the non-boost running shoes. They have a bunch of Alpha Bounces right here, but the one thing that catches my eye are the Alpha Bounce Boost or Alpha Boost? I've actually never tried these out before. I know they just came out a few months ago, and this is probably the loudest colorway I've seen. And the hit of gold on the back really pops. Sort of reminds me of those Gold Metal Pack Ultra Boost, but this right here here, this entire midsole, this thick, thick midsole is all boost. Like there's so much boost on this. Onto the Ultra Boost, they just dropped this brand new pack. I haven't seen these before. The boost is colored and it almost has like a tie-dye kind of print to it. They also have a black and yellow pair here as well. These really pop. The shade of yellow looks really, really good on these. It really, really contrasts perfectly. And then they have the red pair here too. Now these are some insanely, insanely loud Ultra Boost. These are probably the loudest ones here. I'm not even sure the exact name for these ones, but these will definitely break a neck or two. And then over here, these Ultra Boost are really nice as well. The S and L. They have some hits of uh, leather and suede. So it's not your typical Ultra Boost. Probably not one you'd want to run in because they're going to get really messed up 
really dirty. The materials won't look good. They're not like an athletic Ultra Boost, although they are an athletic shoe. We would much rather run in something like this or the Ultra Boost 19s. This is more of like a lifestyle approach to the Ultra Boost. Onto the Ultra Boost 19, they have a few new colorways I've never seen before. They have this like neon yellow pair here with hits of gray on the upper. They also have a reverse version of that. Sort of reminds you of the uh, the core black colorway or the OG ones that they dropped. But it just has hits of neon yellow on the back right there. That we have more of the same shoe, but basically just the back is changed. So it's very small alterations. But these ones really catch my eye. I actually bought these myself. And uh, these are the new, uh, not the new, but they're like the Ultra Boost 1.0, but they retro them of this like highlighter pack. Now they have the, uh, the bright fluorescent like orangey red pair here, but I can't seem to find the yellow pair. So those must have sold out. All right, so for round one of the sneaker battle, Tom's gonna get first pick. So Tom, let me see what your pick is and tell me why. Easy choice. Uh, I picked these because I'm trying to win so I can step on your shoes. And everyone loves these. They're one of the most iconic Ultra Boosts ever. They just restocked and they're somehow sitting here in a size eight and a half, not a size 12, but these are awesome. So for round one, I'm gonna have to go with these right here, the Ultra Boost SNL. It was hard because I really wanted to pick Tom's. I even bought them myself, like I told you guys earlier, but we're gonna go with these. I like the color scheme to it. The red is actually a 3M like reflective material, so it's gonna pop at nighttime. And it's nice, it's a nice change of pace for the Ultra Boost. You don't see too many colorways like this. So Ultra Boost SNL is my pick for round one. With that said, let's get going to the next door, Athlete's Foot. Next up, we have Athlete's Foot. I know Tom is disgusted by the name of the store, but it's called Athlete's Foot in the Philippines. They are also a, a USA location, I think, but we're gonna go inside. It's sort of like a Foot Locker Champs kind of store, so a lot of GRs. Every now and then, they'll get like a Jordan 1 mid or a cool Air Force 1 low utility. So let's go inside and start round two of the sneaker challenge. All right, so in Athlete's Foot, they have it all organized by brand. So they got a bunch of Air Max 720s. Never seen this colorway before. This one's different. I'm not really too crazy about this sort of like block pattern all over it, but it's cool to see they have some new patterns on the 720. We got sort of like the OG looking ones, this gray one. We got some Element React 55s right here. They also have a few colorways of the Air Max 270 Reacts. I think Athlete's Foot has a really good selection when it comes to their Reebok, New Balance, and Puma stuff. So I'll we'll show you guys a couple of these. Like, check these out. I've never seen these Reeboks. Definitely gives me these like retro kind of vibes, but it's not a shoe I think I've seen before. They have a few different colorways of the New Balance 997S. And to take it back, the Puma selection isn't that crazy. They have the Aliens right here, the RS 9.8s. Not really a fan of these. I like the RSOs much more. And in the back corner, they have all the Jays and some Nike basketball. So here's a general look, but we will be going to the Nike store. The shattered backboard uh, Mars right here. One of the worst Jordans of the year. Before we get to round two, they also got the FIBA 4s and they also got the Cool Grays in what looks like a size uh, 3300. So for round number two, we're not gonna have any criteria. Any shoe goes here in athlete's foot. We're gonna be going with these right here, the Air Jordan 4 Cool Gray. Tom, what do you go with? Man? I went go with? with an equally underrated Jordan 4 this year, the FIBA 12s. I think these are so clean. Like if you wanna really look classy and fresh, you got gold. You got red, you got white. Like it's, it's just a very clean, like if you want an Olympic medal, I could picture you wearing these on the podium. If you're like an NBA player walking into your game, I could picture you wearing these in the arena. Like this, this signifies class, this signifies leisure and luxury and the life you want to live, which is why you should vote for these. And don't forget to use code Tom at checkout. Next up, we're gonna be going to Titan. Now the cool thing about Titan and BGC is they have a barbershop. I got my haircut here last time and they actually didn't do that great of a job. So I don't think I would recommend the barbershop, but I do like Titan. I do like the sneakers they have. They usually have some of the better Jordans in this, uh, in this area. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're inside of Titan right now. I don't know what it is about Rust, but the Philippines loves Rust. They were playing it inside of Athlete's Foot. They were playing it inside of Titan when we got here. But anyways, they have a ton of heat here at Titan. The Jordan wall is looking really, really good. They got a lot of really good basketball sneakers here from Puma, Under Armour, and a lot of good Nikes. So we might do two rounds in here, not too sure. But yeah, let me show you guys my favorite sneakers in the store and we'll get to round three of the sneaker challenge.
on to the Jordan selection right now. They have a lot of heat. As you guys can see, okay, maybe not heat, but a lot of really good stuff, especially for recent releases. So we got these right here. These are the Michigan Fives. We actually saw these at the outlets in uh, in San Francisco or just outside of Anaheim. And uh, yeah, they have this pair right here that's cre it's creased up here. Looks pretty creased up. So uh, yeah, they have this pair right here. Definitely reminds me of the Tokyo Jordan 5s, my favorite Jordan 5 of all time. We got pairs we've seen before in Canada and some of the other stores, the Laker 13s. We got the FIBA 12s. We got the FIBA 4s. We got the cool gray 4s that I picked from the last round. We also got these blue 12s, the camo 10s. These are cool. We got the JTH Air Jordan 3 in the black colorway. Definitely an underrated release from this year. The Nike Air in the back in black, black on black. And I like the fact that they have the removable swoosh. Actually, these don't have a removable swoosh. The other ones do. We got some other Jordans here. We got some Jordan 9s. We also got some Jordan 10s. The new Jordan Legacy 312s are actually pretty damn dope. We got the Chicago colorway. I really like these as a huge fan of the Chicago Air Jordan 1. And then we also got the Royal ones that just came out. I'm inspired, of course, by the Royal Air Jordan 1. They did the breads earlier, which are now on sale, but they finally busted out the Royals, and this colorway looks really good, too. These surprised me. Seeing these, they got the Air Jordan 1 Gym Reds. I was wearing these actually yesterday, and Tom just tried on a pair. He forgot if he bought a pair or not, but these are one of my favorite releases of the year. He also got the, uh, the NYC to Paris. Not as nice, I think, as the uh, the Gym Red ones. And then they also got some pretty cool Air Forces. Now, these ones have like a satin material on the back. So if you're a fan of the satin Jordan ones, you might like them, might not, but they have this white and yellow colorway right here, the NBA collab. I like the swoosh, how it's like cut in the middle with a different color. And then we also have the red one. And then here's a look at the rest of the Nike basketball selection. They also got some of the John Elliott LeBrons. We got the Kyries, the KDs, and uh, oh, the LeBrons too. The new LeBrons that just came out, LeBron 17s, I believe. They surprisingly have the Pada Air Jordan 7 here. Wasn't expecting to find these. Probably one of the better Air Jordan 7s to release. And then they also got the uh, the PSGs, I believe. Paris Saint Germain, the soccer team. These look pretty good for daily wear, but I really don't think I would uh, buy them at full retail price. Maybe at an outlet. This is definitely an outlet cop. All right, so round number three at Titan. Tom, let's see your pick, man. Let's see your pick. Okay, Christian took my first choice, mm -hmm. but I'm going to go with these and I see the Paris Jordan 1s. Now, you might say, Tom, this is just a gray shoe, but I'm going to say the reason you should vote for these is because they're customizable. I mean, you can make this your shoe. You take some nail polish remover, rub it around on all the gray and black parts. You can make it sort of pink. You can make it really pink, pale pink, hot pink. There's like four different, maybe even seven different types of laces on these, so that's added value. I mean, like, if you're not voting for this, what are you doing with your life? So for round number three, I'm going to be going with these right here, the Air Jordan 1 Gym Red. Now, I brought these with me to the Philippines, so I'm happy I got to give this, uh, you know, my my choice, my endorsement for round number three. I love these things. They are like an OG colorway, but not an OG shoe from way back in the 90s. If you missed out on the not for resale Jordan 1s, these are a great alternative. And if you're a fan of any Jordan that's black, red, white, these right here are low key fire and definitely one of the most underrated sneaker releases of the year. I still can't believe they're sitting here in the Philippines, but I guess not too many people here in the Philippines are size 12 like Tom. on the Air Jordan 1 selection. They have a few pairs of uh, pretty cool shoes. They got these right here. They got these ones that have React in them, man. This is the Air Jordan 1 React. I never thought I'd see the day. I don't like the swoosh. The swoosh looks really weird, and the shoe almost looks like a boot to me. You know, when you think of Jordan 1, you think it's supposed to be like a nice, sleek, retro basketball sneaker, but this straight up looks like a boot. Tom, what do you think about these, Would man? Would you go on a walk in these? I, don't, I think I'd go like on a rainy day walk, but that's Ooh, it. In a boot? Ooh, didn't boot. I don't know what it is about the laces, too. They made them like five inches thick. That's thicker than most, uh... This is five inches thick? Your, your toe. Here's a look at the other Jordans. We've seen these before at the other stores, but the woman's selection. The woman's selection have some pretty interesting sneakers. We got this Olive Air Jordan 1 Mid. I don't really like these. They're like a slip on Jordan 1 they're doing, but the Jordan 4 is here. These Jordan 4 Sands are nice. I feel like if they were to call these like a family and friends Travis Scott colorway, they would have sold out instantly. Like I feel like I get some Travis Scott vibes from this shoe. All right, so for round number four, we're here at the Nike store. I'm gonna be going with these right here. These are the Air Jordan 1 Mids. This is a very simple 
simple colorway, black, silver, and red. They've been pumping out some weird mid colorways lately, but this is a pretty good one. And it sort of has like a metallic silver look to it, so it does pop more than your typical like matte finish. I like these a lot. And uh, yeah, that's my pick for round four, a simple Air Jordan 1 mid. Tom, let's see what you got, okay, man. so my pick, I'm not playing to make my own feelings feel good. I'm playing to win. Mm -hmm. So I feel disgusting picking this because I think this is just a terrible pair of shoes. Terrible materials, patent leather swoosh, not happening. But it's a Jordan 1 shattered backboard colorway, and I want to get votes. So I'm picking these because I think these are going to get votes, plain and simple. I don't like these. I don't think you should, but a lot of you might. So vote for these. get to the last round at Soul Academy, we're stopping by Dunkin' Donuts because, you know, Tom had some donut cravings. I'm excited for Dunkin' Donuts. Not Dun Dunkin' Donut, Krispy Kreme. We're here at Krispy Kreme, my bad, oh my gosh. With that said, if you are Filipino or if you love donuts, comment down below where your favorite like donuts are from. I love Krispy Kreme donuts. They probably are my favorite donuts. They're just, there's only like one location in Toronto. So in the Philippines, they have a lot of Krispy Kreme here, man. finale time it's the final round round number five i don't know how close the rounds are right now but you probably have a feeling if you were voting for the polls in the top right hand corner but with that said the last store is going to be soul academy thing is they're not here anymore they're actually doing a pop-up just down the street from here so i think they're doing like renovations or something so we're not able to go into the store we've gone into many many times but let's walk over to the uh, pop-up i'll show you guys where it is and let's see what they got We made it, Soul Academy pop-up. Looks pretty cool, let's go. Taking a look at the sneakers they have here at Soul Academy, we're gonna start with the Nike selection. Some shoes we haven't seen on this trip, we've seen on other trips, are these right here. The Nike Element React 55 with that like sunburst, sunrise colorway. I like these a lot. Surprised that they have these still in the store. They also have a bunch of Adidas Oswegos here. So they have like the core black colorways, but some new pairs that I really like that they're putting out are these like ones for fall, winter, which have mainly like a new buck suede upper. And uh, yeah, this is more of, a, more of a fall colorway, you know, if you're looking for an alternative to the Yeezy 700 or 700 V2. Definitely a shoe you might want to look into. They also have these ones right here. I got these uh, not too long ago. Pretty solid, but I still think I like these, these fall versions a bit more. In terms of Adidas Night Joggers, they have quite a few colorways. They got the 3M collabs, premium ones that just dropped not too long ago. And uh, yeah, I'll just give you guys a quick rundown of the other Night Joggers. <laughs> These are crazy. What on earth? They're like an Adidas POD, but with a full prime knit or mesh uh, camouflage upper. And not only do they have this one green camouflage colorway, they have a whole bunch of other ones too. Check it out. They got this red one right here. These ones are very bold. It sort of reminds me of like a volcano. Pokemon Ruby vibes right here. Here's a look at the New Balance selection. And there's one shoe that definitely caught my eye, these yellow ones. You don't really see too many really nice yellow sneakers. These ones, I think they did a really, really good job on. These are the New Balance X Racer. Pretty dope. And they have a few other colorways of the New Balance X Racer here. Some uh, subtle low key ones, you know, not as loud as the yellow pair I just showed you guys. number five of the sneaker battle we have tom picking first so tom this is the non hype -y round so no hype shoes allowed what do we have here okay i don't know if these are hyped or not except i really like these i don't know what they're called but they're adidas and they're white and the leather's really smells like a cow's butt 
quality. Why are you smelling cow's butts? I can do whatever I want with my free time. So for my pick for the final round, we're gonna go with these right here, the Adidas Night Jogger. I love the Night Jogger, and this is the first time I've actually seen this colorway or this kind of color blocking on them. These are a 3M collab. Actual 3M says it right there, but the Night Jogger has a lot of reflective accents, so it makes sense that Adidas does collab with 3M of all brands. Hit that poll in the top right hand corner, vote for me, not Tom. He chose the Pyrophase RX, didn't even know what the shoe's name was, so come on, come on. Oh shoot, Yeah. it wasn't recording. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hate you. All right, with that said guys, uh, that's gonna be the last round. Let's check out the results. So this is the day after and it's time for the sneaker battle results. Tom, how do you think you did after that performance? I don't know. I mean, probably destroyed you. I don't want to sound too cocky, but we'll see. Round number one was the Adidas battle and okay. we had the Ultra Boost. Now the results here were 54% for me, what? 46 for Tom. So you take people a are look. crazy. I won by a very slim margin. Very, very slim. I actually thought Tom was going to win that because I was going to pick the shoes he chose. So what on earth are you talking sort of about? Happy, crazy sort of happy. People. So one point for me, zero for Tom. Next round, we got the Air Jordan round at Athlete's Foot. You probably killed me on this. 30% for Tom with the Air Jordan 12 FIBA, and I got 70% with the Cool Grade. In my defense, I would just like to state here mm -hmm. that my persuasiveness and sales pitch on these shoes was not included on the Instagram stories. That's probably a large reason that I wasn't getting the votes that I was getting, because I made it very convincing that you should vote for my shoes on video, but it wasn't available on Instagram. This one was a close one. Considering we're both huge Air Jordan 1 fans, we went to Titan and uh, before they told us to stop filming, we were able to get the footage we needed. And uh, this one, I'm actually disappointed. I got 45% with the Air Jordan 1 Gym Red. I thought I was gonna win it for sure. I thought you were gonna win too. But Tom won it. Tom won this one with 55% of the vote with the NYC to Paris, so it is now two to one. Next up, we have uh, the Nike store. Now, this is the new Nike store that opened up last year, and this one I just got obliterated. Tom, what, I'm gonna say what probably happened? killed you. I'm what guessing, happened? I haven't looked at it, I'm gonna say like, I probably, you had the metallic silver ones, right? Yeah. Probably like 75-25 for me. Results are in, and uh, he is actually really close. Oh wow. 73% for the Shattered Backboard mids and the 27% for me with the uh, the other ones. I'm actually, I thought that was gonna be closer. I actually thought that was gonna I be didn't closer. I think that was gonna be closer. I think it's a shattered backboard name. Just having that name I associated with the shoe. I think it's just because the bottom ones are terrible. I, I think, think that's most of I don't think they're that bad. Anyways, now it's a tie, 2-2 for the final round, the grand finale. We have the winner, and it is me. Sorry, Tom. Sorry. I won with 55% of the vote versus his 45. I went with the Night Jogger. He went with the Powerface RX. And uh, you guys know what that means. The prize for today's video was I get to step on Tom's shoes. So, Joke's on you. I switched my shoes to some bum ass Converse. Did you like know you were coming over to lose? Like, Step on them, Christian. All right. Step on them. Oh, rub it in. That, yeah, yeah Christian. take that. Yeah. They're already dirty. Like, this isn't satisfying You're at all. Yeah. You're probably <laughs> cleaning them. Yeah. I'm gracing his shoe with my shoe's outsole. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys enter the Yeezy giveaway by commenting down below who you guys think won. Subscribe to both of our channels. I'll leave them linked down below. All the links in the description, pinned comment. And yeah, Tom, you want to rematch sometime? Hmm? Maybe, yeah, maybe wear the shoes time. that I want to step on. All I'm saying is next time I want my video pitches put on in the Instagram stories so people can see how good of points I made about my these Instagram shoes. story is gonna become one of those where you just skip 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 unless his speeches are very memorable my speeches it are could amazing. go viral they start okay, give us give us a speech right now let's end off the okay. vlog on a speech so you need engagement in the first two seconds of an Instagram story so this is how the Instagram story starts don't assume my gender you see this pair of shoes right here that's how it starts it has nothing to do with assuming my gender but it draws the crowd in <laughs>